how to make stair walking animations in Blender. There are multiple ways of doing this, however, let's go through one of them, which I also personally use. First, get a character rig and a staircase, which you can either build in Blender or import a map inside Blender, which includes the stairs. For the character rig, I use the BPS rig version 4. The link will be in the description. First, turn on the auto keyframe function, then choose lock rod, which stands for the location and rotation. So, let's get started by placing the character in a neutral pose, in front of the stairs. Select the character, go to pose mode by clicking on control tab. Select the root bone and move the character in front of the stairs. After that, prepare a neutral pose for the character, as if he is preparing to go upstairs. Now press B and select the whole body, then click on I to set a starting keyframe. Once it's done, the first step will be to move the right leg and the body of the character up on the first step of the stairs. To get a better look of where the leg and the body will be placed, we can go to side view by clicking on 3 on number pad. And if you don't have a numpad, then... Stop the cow! <laughs> I know that some of you are going to say, Well actually, instead of the numpad, you can use these arrows too. I don't care. Get a keyboard with a numpad or a separate numpad. <laughs> Alright, but on a serious note, you can use these arrows to access the front view, side view and the top view. But if you still want to use the shortcuts and you do not have the numpad, then you can go to edit, preferences, input and check emulate numpad and then save the preferences. Now you can use the numbers on top of your keyboard like you would use them on the numpad. So click on 3, go to side view and move the timeline to frame 15 or whichever frame you want. And then move the right leg on top of the first step. Then move the body and place it accordingly. Now before moving to the next step, make sure to select both legs and set a keyframe for both of them by pressing I. Now move the left leg up on the second step and move the body again, the same way you did on the first step. Select both legs and click on I to set a keyframe for both of them. Yo, what he's doing? Bully. Why are you bullying me? <laughs> now we have two steps, but we also need to animate the hands, the body and the head as well. Otherwise the animation will look worse than my sense of humor. Oh my God. <laughs> so go to the first frame and place the hands accordingly. If the right leg is forward, then the left hand should also be placed forward and so on. Now go to frame 15 and place the hands in the correct position. In this case, the left hand is forward and the right hand is back. Feel free to move the arms as well and place them however you'd like. Once you're happy with the pose, select hands and arms on both sides, then go to timeline and select the keyframe on frame 15, which is this orange diamond shape. Click on I and then press Ctrl C to copy the keyframe. Now go to frame 30 and press Ctrl Shift C to paste the flipped slash mirrored pose. Office. What did I do? Just go to the office! What did I do? Go, just go! What I to animate the body and add some basic movements and details, you can use the hip bone. So select the hip bone and slightly rotate it towards the direction of the leg which is going forward. So in this case, if the right leg is going forward, then you can rotate the hip bone towards the right leg. Then go to next frame, which is frame 30, and rotate the hip towards the left leg and so on. For the head, you can start in a neutral pose. Press I on frame 0 or 1, whichever is your starting frame. Then go to frame 30 and rotate it up a little so that it gives a small detail to the scene as if the character is looking up. However, you can customize these details and movement to your liking. Now, keep going with the same principles and move the character on as many steps as you want. And if you keep going, you can get results which look like these. Be sure to practice this and play around with different poses if you want to achieve great results. And remember, if you don't have a numpad, get one. Thanks for watching and see you next time.